So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my version of seafood boil. All right, so we got two pounds of shrimp. Uh, the ones I have right now are the headless shrimp, but you can definitely purchase the headed shrimp. So we have some red potatoes that I chopped up. I purchased about three small potatoes. These are also an option. Next, we got some sausages. Um, that's probably about half of Hillshire sausage. And for the seasonings, we have about three tablespoons of Old Bay. Old Bay seasoning and two tablespoons of lemon pepper, paprika, Cajun, and cayenne pepper. We also got one fourth cup of garlic. You can add more if you like. We got one lime. A uh, must need is unsalted butter. And also this Zatarain's uh, crab boil. It's nice to have but if you can't find it in stores, you can definitely just use a little bit of Cajun pepper or Cajun powder and uh, paprika. I'm gonna bring a pot of water to a boil. Add in your potatoes, ow. All right, and let those cook for about five minutes. And then we'll add our sausages. And while the potatoes are boiling, go ahead and open your Zataran crawfish boil. It looks just like this, and just drop it in. So in the pot of boiling water, I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne. Just like a dash and some Cajun. We're also going to be adding the lime juice. It's one lime. Okay, so I'm gonna slowly add in my sausages. I'll check on the boil about every five minutes to see how everything's cooking. I'm just gonna butter it up a bit. Okay, I'm gonna add in my garlic before my butter burns. the garlic until it's brown. I'm gonna slowly add in more butter. All right, so now my garlic's looking a little bit more brown. I'm just gonna add in the rest of that butter. Remember, keep in mind to cook this on low heat. While that's cooking, make sure to check on your potatoes and sausages. I'm gonna add in my second one. And add the spices now. Now you get that nice dark sauce to pour over your shrimp. Okay, 
at this point, go ahead and just turn off your flame, turn off your stove, and now this will just rest to the side. All right, so my sausages and potato, <laughs> my sausages and potatoes are pretty much done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna strain them in this little strainer. That, collect all my potatoes. Going through, making sure I got everything okay. Grab some shrimp, put them in your little strainer. Just cook them in the boil for. I want to say like around a minute. Depending on how big your shrimp is, you don't want to overcook your shrimp, that's for sure. And also here on the side, I also have that garlic butter sauce. So after I soak the, or after I cook the shrimp, I'm actually going to toss them into the saucepan. So the shrimp should like just like that, nice and pink. These are kind of large, so I'm gonna cook them just a tad bit longer. All right, so the shrimp should be done. I'm just gonna oh, throw them in there. the strainer is just so my shrimps don't get lost and then trying to dig them all out before the one minute is up. Okay now all I'm gonna do is just kind of cook it with the garlic and all this good stuff. All right, now most of the shrimp is covered in the butter and sauce. I'm just gonna transfer it into my tin. All right, so now I'm just gonna mix the two. There you have it guys. My seafood boil. Definitely eat this with steam rice. And also on the side for this, just get some black pepper and salt. And one lime. Just like that. Oh yes. Okay, so you're just gonna peel off the skin. Oh my god, it's so hot. Oh yes. Okay. 
nice generous dip. I'm telling you guys, this is where y'all wanna be. it to be really sour just douse it mm. you guys have not tried this mm. you need to oh my god sausage same ordeal. Mm. Try another shrimp. Ah, gotta wear like goggles for this stuff. That's my dog. Mmm. <laughs> and that's a wrap, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.